Hi, my name is Jordan Lemley and I'm an applications engineer with Hawkridge Systems and today we're going to be talking about adding customized columns to the user interface in Enterprise PDM. So one of the new features in EPDM 2014 that I'm excited to get to share with you is the ability to customize columns in EPDM. So what does that mean? So if I take a look here at a vault view, an example vault view for us, Let's say that you've got some sort of numbering system for your file names. So all CAD files get some sort of sequential numbering and it has no meaning about the file. It's just a, a sequential number and there's no meaning attached to it. Now, this is great if you're tracking all of your metadata through the data card, but let's say that you wanted to, just by browsing through the files in File Explorer or Windows Explorer, uh, you wanted to take a look at the contents of that file, not by looking at the data card, but by looking at the columns in Windows Explorer. With the EPDM admin tool, you can add any kind of variable that you've defined in EPDM and add that as a column so that I can simply add that into my Explorer view, drag it over and see maybe the description of that file and have that tied to the corresponding file name. So that's a great feature in EPDM. But in 2013, in previous versions, you weren't allowed to add that description column into your contains tab. So you might be able to see the, the file reference structure for your, your document, but you wouldn't be able to see the description because that was limited. And so in 2014, we have a new feature which allows us to customize the columns. So previously, all that were available to the user was result through state. These were default values that you could add to the contains tab, but you couldn't add any more. But now in 2014, you're allowed to add any variable that you've defined in Enterprise PDM. So I can go down here to more and find my description variable and simply add that to the list of columns that are available to the user to see. So I'll go ahead and drag that over. And now I'm able to see the description for these files based on the variable value corresponding to the file name. And the same thing applies to the checkout dialog box as well. So if I go to check out this file, once again, we see the numbers and the file names, but we don't see the description. And in 2014, we can go ahead and add that simply by clicking more. So I'll go ahead and choose description once again, and simply drag that over to be able to see the information contained in that description value. So that's pretty much it for being able to customize columns in Enterprise PDM 2014. Thanks for watching.